Many shops are choosing to do hard milling in place of grinding for inserts such as this. I would like to demonstrate a few cutter paths to achieve a good result with this kind of, of an insert. The first procedure, rough spiral, has the stock being defined as above the part and it has a Z limit of a couple thousandths above the insert. This means that we get a nice spiral motion that does not yet take into account the geometry and it's much like a 2D path that I would use in order to machine the top of this insert but now we can do it in a 3D rough spiral. Next I'm going to go in and machine all the, all the stock away and we're staying five thousandths away from the walls, two thousandths away from the floor. The next rough spiral has two surface groups. The first group I'm staying zero away from the, the floors and five thou away from the walls. And zero on the floor. that can be seen here. The next procedure takes into account sharp edges. And we have some options for how the sharp edges are controlled. For short connections over sharp edges I have set to none. That means I want no motions around the sharp edges and the long connection shift is pretty irrelevant in this procedure, in this example rather. can see how the tool comes off of the part and then has a lead in to the next edge comes off the part and has a lead in to the next edge this will leave a very nice crisp edge on this insert furthermore the bottom is actually machining to zero taking off that last one thousandths and giving us a nice sharp edge at the bottom because the previous cutter was a bull cutter <coughs> 